Right you guys, got another video here for you. In this one we're going to be taking a look at how we can downgrade from Windows 10 Pro to Windows 10 Home Edition. Now this one was requested by one of my YouTube followers. He wanted to uh, downgrade from Windows 10 Pro to Windows 10 Home. Now the first thing you're going to need to do is obviously back up your data. That's the first thing, just in case something goes wrong and you lose all your data, you wanna make a backup of that data. The second most important thing is that you will need to make sure that you get yourself a Windows 10 Home Edition license because you can't carry your Windows 10 Pro license down to Windows Home. So make sure you've got yourself another Windows 10 Home Edition license and you should be good to go from there when you want to activate, okay? Now, hopefully this method when we downgrade from Windows 10 Pro, we should be able to still keep our programs and our data and downgrade from Windows 10 Pro to Windows 10 Home Edition without losing any of that. But it's always good to make a backup just in case something goes wrong. So first off, let's go ahead and uh, get started on this one. So first off, we're gonna need to go down to the registry here. So we're gonna type in the search box, reg edit. And uh, from here, we're gonna right click and run this as administrator and say yes to the use account control. And I'm gonna pull this open so you can see a bit more here. And here we have our registry editor. So what we wanna do is go into HKey local machine. And I'll just quickly show you here as well uh, that we are running Windows 10 uh, Pro here. So you can see Windows 10 Pro. So we're going to go into the HT, H key local machine, pull this down. Then we're going to go down to where it says software, pull that open, then down to Microsoft, then drop that down again. And then we want to go all the way down to Windows NT. There we are. And then current version. Inside current version under Windows NT, we're gonna go over to the right hand pane here and uh, inside here, what we're looking for is product name, okay? So we go down to product name and you can see it says Windows 10 Pro. So we're gonna double click on this and inside here, we need to change this, okay? So we want to change this to Windows 10 Home. Like so. So once we've done that, we can click OK. And then what we want to do is want to come up to where it says addition, addition ID. And you can see it says professional in there. So double click on this and open this box up. And we want to put in here core. So take the professional out and put core inside there and click OK. So now we've changed those. We need to do some more changes in the registry. So we're going to close this bit off. And we're going to go back up and close off Microsoft here. And we're still in HK local machine and software. So next up, what we need to do is go to HK local machine software. And then down the bottom here where it says, uh, wow, 6432 node, open this up. And inside there, we're going to go to Microsoft, drop that down again. And come all the way down to Windows NT. Inside Windows NT, I'm going to pull this down and then go current version. On the right hand pane, again, we're going to do it exactly the same. We're going to look for that product name, double click, and we can take out the pro and put home. Go up to addition ID. And again, we can make that change to core. That's done. We can now just close these back off. It's always good to finish off and close these off. Like so and then close off your registry editor. So what we want to do now is get the media creation tool. So we're gonna to go to 
our browser. I'm going to go to Google here. And uh, you want to go in here, go Media Creation Tool. That will do. And uh, what we're going to do is click on this here. And this will take us to this page here. I'll leave this link in the video description for you. So what we want to do is download this tool here. And there we are, that's now downloaded. And that should be in our downloads folder, but we can click on this file now and say yes to the user account control here. And this will open up this little prompt box here. And what we're going to do is wait for this to open. And there we are. Accept. And uh, what we want to do here is let this uh, get to the next stage. Now what we're after here is to go to create installation media, USB flash drive, DVD or ISO for another PC. Go next. Leave the tick in, use the recommended options for this PC. Go next. Go down to where it says ISO file and go next and it's going to download this okay so what we want to do is just put this into the downloads area and click save and this will start to download the Windows uh, 10 ISO so I'll let this download and I'll come right back when this is downloaded okay so that's nearly finished uh, creating our ISO for us and then once that's done you should get to this stage where it says burn the ISO file to a DVD we don't need to do any of that stuff so we can click finish and uh, let this uh, finish off now okay so next up what we want to do here is go to our downloads folder where our ISO has been downloaded and uh, what we want to do is right click here on the ISO and then mount uh, that ISO then we can see the setup file here. We're going to just quickly click on this and say yes to the user account control and let that open up. So it's just going to prepare this for us. And hopefully now it should say Windows Home once we get to this next stage. So you can see here it's saying download and install updates. We don't have to do that right now. So I'm going to say not right now go next and we should get the Windows 10 home on here click accept okay so now you can see to install Windows 10 home and that's because we've made those changes it also is going to allow us to uh, keep our personal files and our apps so that's what so once you do this, it will go to the install part and it will start to install Windows 10. And this will take a bit of time, so just be patient and let it uh, finish its uh, install. Now this part of the installation process will take a fair bit of time, so I've speeded this up and I've tried not to uh, skip any parts here. Now you will uh, see a couple of reboots happening, which I have skipped. Uh, so a couple of uh, reboots will happen during this process. Uh, but I've uh, missed those out and, and just actually recorded uh, the main parts here, which you can see, which is happening right now. So this is going to be working on the updates and trying to copy across all your data and programs that you had on your previous build. And it's just going to get a few things ready. And then we should be at the desktop of our Windows 10 home. And uh, there we are, we're back at the desktop and we can now close off this here. And as you can see, we still have our programs here, our uh, Google Chrome and programs you had installed. If we look inside our downloads directory here, we'll still have stuff we downloaded. So it's kept everything as is. And if we look inside 
system we should now see we are on Windows 10 home just as we wanted to do and of course if you go to GP edit and you try to open it up it's not going to open it up because now we're on home and it doesn't support group policy editor so you can see it's completely downgraded us from Windows 10 Pro to Windows 10 home so I hope this one helps you out guys it's a bit of a lengthy process uh, but it's worth doing if you want to ever go back down from Windows 10 Pro to Windows 10 Home. I'm not sure why you'd want to do that, but uh, that person obviously does. And uh, that, that video answers all your questions. Anyway, thanks again for watching, guys. My name is Brian from BrightechComputers.co.uk. Uh, I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, you can go to my main YouTube channel here. Click on the red subscribe button and also what's really important is hit that bell notification button and this will notify you when I upload new videos.